Hello, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. So let's understand the requirement now related to record trigger flow scenario. So I'm going to demonstrate the record is created, record is updated, and record is deleted criteria. Those are available when you implement record trigger flow. So I'm going to demonstrate the requirement which is available in front of you. So we need to count total contact records related to an account when. So first is a contact is created. So if you are creating a contact, so on account, there should be a field where in that field, one will be increased as we are creating a new contact related to that account. So one by one, I will be demonstrating all these use cases. So let me create a record trigger flow. And uh, I have already created a field. So here you can see I am under object manager under account object. And here you can see I have already created a total context field, which is of type number. And if you go to account record page, if you go to details, so here you will find that total context, right? So now I'm going to implement the flow for you. So I'm selecting object as contact, then trigger the flow when a record is created. Then here we need to apply the condition. So if we are creating a contact, so we need to make sure it is linked with an account. So if account ID is null, false, right? So if account ID is not null, it means that contact that you are creating is connected to a particular account. And uh, this record trigger flow I am creating for contact object, but it will be updating the value of account. So that's why I am selecting actions and related records. Clicked on done. So now here I am going to implement this element. So what I need to do, I need to query all the existing related contacts with the account for which we are creating new contact. So for example, if I open any account record where already some contacts are available. So let's say if I open this account, this contact, sorry, if I open this account and here you can see one contact is already available. Now I am creating one more contact related to this account. So what I need to do, I need to query all those related contacts. So for that purpose, I'm uh, using this get records element. So here I'm writing get context. Now here we need to provide the condition. So I need to query all those contacts which are related to particular account and which account with which the newly created contact is connected. So here I need to write account ID equals then the newly created contact record information will be available in this dollar record variable. And through this, I can fetch the related account ID. So the newly created contacts account ID, if it is equals to other contacts account ID, it means all those contacts are connected to a same account. So those will be queried here. You need to select all records and automatically store all the fields and then click on done, right? So this way, this get context will be having all the available context related to that particular account. Now we can assign the count of this collection. So basically get contact will create a collection automatically. So this collection size we need to store in a variable. So here I'm going to create a variable. Naming it as contact count. Its data type will be number. And its default value is zero and done. Now I'm going to use an assignment. So here contact count equals count, and then you need to select get contacts. So whatever records are available in, the, in this get contacts, they will be counted and uh, value will be available in this variable. Now I'm clicking on done. 
now we need to update the related account so we need to use update records so we need to update the account then we need to specify the condition now here you can select id equals then the current contact record dot account id because contact is connected with account and that account we need to update and which field we need to update total contacts equal to contact count right so this way uh, this flow is created now i am going to cl click on save so i am just clicking on save now i am activating this so here you can see right now this field is blank right now i am going to create new contact under this account so i am clicking on new so i am creating new contact and clicking on save so here you can see total two contacts are available if i go to details so here you can see total two values available if i go to related and create one more so now total three contacts are available if i go to details so you can see total contact is three so this way our first case is working fine now i am going to use the update so in case of update we have two scenarios first is contact is updated to be linked with an account so right now what is happening contact is available but it is not connected with any account its account id lookup is blank so if we fill that it means now we are connecting that contact with an account so in that case that account will be having the updated count and later on i will be explaining like how uh, we are linking contact with any other account if it is already connected with an account we are going to link it with another account so one will be having one uh, decreased count and one will be having increased count so right now i am showing you co if contact is updated to be linked with an account so i need to modify the flow so this time i am going to select this option so uh, like if record is created or updated right and if we select this record is created or updated or simply updated so we have these two options these two options are not available in case of create so i am selecting this only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements so if it is updated uh, to have this account id so earlier account id is null and now it is having some value okay so i am just clicking on done so now again uh, we need to get the contacts those are available in this uh, record which we updated so the the current record which we updated contact uh, it will be having account id so basis on that we will be fetching all the contacts which are related to particular account and then through this assignment we are counting their value and uh, uh, we are updating the related account so i am just saving it and activating it so now if i go to this account so here you can see right now three contacts are available and count is three now i am moving to contacts and i am going to see uh, this contact is not connected with any account here you can see lookup is blank so i am going to select that account and i am going to click on save so if i go to this account and go to details so here you can see total count is 4 if i go to related list so here four contacts are available so this way on update also the same flow is working fine now what we need to do we need to implement this scenario like if contact is updated to be linked with another account so in that in this case what will happen like the contact which is connected with this account i am going to connect it with another account so this account will be having value as 3 and the new account with which i am going to connect this contact will be having one value increased so
So if we read this, like when to run the flow for update record, so it says, perhaps you want the flow to run only when the trigger triggering record is changed from not meeting the requirement, condition requirement is meeting the condition requirements. When that's the case, choose the second option, right? So if it is not null, then we are filling some value. In that case, it will run. But in our case now, uh, a contact is already having uh, some account in this account ID, and now we are changing it, right? So this time I am selecting this option. Every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirement. Like if account is not null, then it will be executing. So I clicked on done. Now in this case, I need to update two accounts. One that we are populating as a new account which with which your contact will be linked. And we need to decrease the account which was earlier parent for that contact, right? So here we use this uh, record and then through this uh, record dot account ID, we queried the contacts and then uh, we counted and updated the account. Now I need to have some more things. So here I'm using get record. So again, I'm getting get context for existing account. So account ID equals. Now here we have one more variable, global variable that is record prior. So for example, if I go here, open any contact, and if I try to change this, so right now it is having Burlington textile. If I change it and select any other account, so it means this will go to dollar record and the earlier one Burlington textile will go to record prior, right? So previous value will be available with record prior and this new value will be available with dollar record. Okay. So this record prior dot account ID, right? So this way the existing account, which was linked with the contact that you are updating, uh, the contacts which are related to that account, uh, they will be queried. And uh, after this, we can use the assignment variable. So here we need to create one more variable. It should be of type number zero, default value zero, and then done. Now, if it is equals to, okay, so equals count and then get context for existing account. This way it will be counted. And now I need to update the account. So I am just selecting update record. So we can say like update existing account, then specify the condition. So we need to select the account, then here ID equals then record prior dot account ID. And then total count equals to count contact for existing account. This will be stored. And then I'm clicking on done. So this way, these two things we need to do because we are updating the contact which is already connected with an account. Now we are going to connect with uh, that contact with new account. So both the accounts should be updated. So I'm clicking on save as, activate. So now I'm going to uh, connect this contact with new account. So let me, uh, just show you the account, which I'm going to select as a new. So if I go here, so here one contact is available and total count is zero. So now if I update this contact, which is connected this Burlington textile. So Burlington textile is already having four account related. Now I am changing it and uh, linking this contact to this one. So this ACC 1102 is already having one contact. Now it will be having two contacts. So on ACC 1102, total count will be two. And on Burlington Textile, it will be three. So if I go to 
ACC one one zero two. So here you can see total count is two. Two contacts are available. If I go to Burlington Textile, so here you can see three records are available and total count is three. So this way, the third use case is also working properly. So I hope uh, with this way you understood the difference between these options like uh, when to use account. Sorry, a record is created and when to use created or updated both. Now the time is to use a record is deleted. So if contact is deleted, then also uh, total contact count should be updated, right? So in that case, you just need to use the delete, and uh, if it is not null, and then done. Now I am just going to remove these things because these are not required now. And maybe if you want to implement all these things together, so you can have three different flows. One is for create, or maybe for create update one flow and for delete another flow, so that you don't need to remove those elements. So again, we need to get the records. So this will be same. The deleted record information will be available in this dollar record variable. So this way, we are fetching all the contacts related to the account uh, through which uh, that contact was related, which we are deleting. And we are assigning the total count in similar way, and we are updating the related contact, right? So this way, if I save it, create a new version, activate, so you can see contact is deleted. If I go to details okay now you might be thinking like why this record uh, total count is not changed so there is a catch that you need to understand so actually this is a limitation in the flow so i tried uh, to create a delete operation so here you can see it is optimized for before the record is deleted right so here uh, you can uh, see like it is optimized for before the record is deleted. It means if you implement the flow and select this uh, record is deleted. So it means you can do uh, operations on the deleted record only. If you want to do some operation on the related record, uh, though those are related to that deleted record, then uh, your operations won't be performed, right? So. That's why it is not working properly in case of deleted. So this is a limitation and maybe later on, like uh, uh, till this May 2022, this delete option is having uh, before the record is deleted. Maybe in upcoming releases, you will see after the record is deleted feature. So in that case, this requirement will work properly, right? So this way I showed you the differences between uh, record is created versus updated versus deleted. So in case of created and updated, you can do operations on the same record through which record trigger flow is triggered as well as on the records which are related to that record. But in case of deletion, you can do the operation on the record through which your uh, record trigger flow is triggered only. If any record is related, related to that record, then it won't work, right? So uh, this way, I hope you understood the differences between record is created versus updated versus deleted.